Tesla's 4680 battery cell production process is outlined in Giga Berlin's revised filings that are now on display for public discussion. And in this report, I'm going to tell you about that. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. And like this video, please give us thumbs up if you find this report informative. The details are brought to us by Simon Alvarez from the teslaradi.com saying Tesla's revised documents for Giga Berlin have been posted online. I think this is already the third time Tesla has done that for public discussion. And these documents are kind of a treasure trove of information, notes Alvarez in Tesla Radi. He says the documents provided some new details about Tesla's planned 4680 battery plant in Gigafactory Berlin, which CEO Elon Musk noted is on track to be one of the world's largest battery production facilities. Uh, they also outlined how Tesla's 4680 battery cells are produced. While sections of the filing pertaining to the planned 4680 battery cell plant in Giga Berlin were blacked, were blacked out due to sensitive information that could not be made public, the documents, however, show some important tidbits about the upcoming facility. This includes the facility's cell production operations over four floors with anode and cathode production on the first floor and tableless cell production on the third floor. The battery plant is massive, it's huge, requiring large foundations similar to the Giga Berlin's phase one zone. In fact, I've already had a report about the large and massive foundations that Tesla is building at the battery uh, factory at Giga Berlin, as we were all surprised why does uh, Tesla need to make these huge important foundations. Our friend Tobias Linz has some pictures from them tweeting saying, some details of the assembly production in the third floor of the battery cell production building at Giga Berlin and saying anode and cathode production in the first floor. Um, most importantly, Tesla also submitted a simplified diagram of its 4680 battery cell production process at Giga Berlin, though most of the diagram was blacked out in the revised filing public release. However, the company provided a brief overview of how its new battery cell production will be produced in the upcoming faci facility. By the way, I will have the link to the public uh, documents in in the description of this video so if you would like to read it's a huge document there is it's like treasury of information and i will probably discuss that in the upcoming uh, days so please uh, subscribe to our channel friends if you would like to hear more about that so like i said the company tesla provided a brief overview of how its new battery cell uh, will be produced in the upcoming facility this is roughly translated from google translate and reads the following quote the battery the gigafactory berlin requires um, special and process steps let me read that again the battery the gigafactory berlin requires special systems and process steps the anodes and cathodes consist of coated current collector foils copper is used as the material for the anode foil and aluminum is used for the cathode foil the anode and cathode components are manufactured in mixed processes which only use materials in powder form the new materials used are tested and approved in our own laboratory in order for the powder coating to adhere to the two films they must first be pre-coated with a thin layer of adhesive this substrate, uh, substrate is delivered in containers. The pre-coating is necessary because a dry coating with powder takes place. After the anode and cathode components have been mixed, they are applied as a coating to the respective substrate coated film in order to establish electrical contact. 
the current collector foils coated with the anode and cathode components result in the finished anode or cathode. So this is what we know so far about how Tesla is going to build its 4680 battery. But like I said, there are also parts there that are blacked out because they are sensitive proprietary information. Our friend um, uh, Albrecht who tweets at Gigafactory underscore four from Berlin also has some information sharing photos from the documents saying here we can see how the battery plant will look like at Giga Berlin. In addition, we see a detailed side view on page 235 in section 12 of Tesla's Gigafactory's um, Berlin, Giga Berlin's documents. Now, the revised filings of Giga Berlin's documents also provided a general idea of how Tesla's tabless cell production works. Among these is the fact that the finished 4680 battery cells would be subjected to 10 days worth of current after their formation. That's interesting, isn't it? So here's the text. This may sound a little uh, technical, but I just want to present it to you. So here's a quote from the uh, Tesla's documents. The anode or cathode is then cut to the required length with a laser in the tablet process. The anode, the cathode, and the separator are alternately placed on one on one on top of the other and rolled up into a roll this roller is then inserted into a metal housing which is manufactured from steel rollers in a die cutting and deep drawing process in the assembly area the final assembly and filing of the cell takes place with small amounts of electrolyte approximately 10 percent of the cell weight and what goes on saying the electrolyte is absorbed by the electrode coat the electrolyte coating and enables the lithium ions to move back and forth between the anode and cathode. The housing is then closed with a lid in a welding process. The last step in uh, is the formation of the cell. In the formation process, the cell is electrically started up by charging and discharging it under different temperature conditions. The finished cell remains in this area for approximately 10 days and is then put to further use. The cells produced are subjected to random quality control in our own laboratory. I think this is a very interesting and explanatory uh, regarding the process of how Tesla Giga Berlin is going to build its um, batteries for new uh, Model Y. You know, like I said, I will have a link to Tesla's filings in the Gigafactory Berlin uh, in the description of this video, friends, for you to know. You know, remember in uh, uh, May 18, Elon Musk said, confirmed that the Model Y produced from Gigafactory Texas would be launching with 4680 battery cells. The update was related by Musk in a recent interaction on Twitter, which was on May 18. Um, and he said, uh, Hallmark's catalog asked if, uh, will Austin start by producing 27 Model Y, uh, 27, uh, 2170 Model Y or jump straight to 4680, referring to battery that Tesla CEO is referring uh, 4680. Musk's update both well for Tesla's vehicle production ramp in Gigafactory Texas and its ongoing 4680 battery RAM. Now we know that Gigafactory Berlin is going to produce the batteries, uh, 4680 batteries, and we know how exactly in more details going to do that. Um, in my next report, I will tell you a little bit more about, like, uh, about the plans of um, the, the Gigafactory Berlin's uh, that are displayed in this document. It will be titled something like, these are the new Tesla plans in detail from Giga Berlin. So please come back later today for that next report. In the meantime, friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Give us thumbs up for this re review and report. I would greatly appreciate it. Share in social media and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I enjoy reading your comments and I will uh, respond as much as I can. And I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. See you soon.